I have trapped a lot of animals in the woods behind my house in an attempt to save my chickens. I've done my best to fortify my chicken coop and my catch rate has recently decreased significantly, which I consider to be a success. However, I'm taking on a much bigger task in this video. I'm expanding on a bigger mission. We're going to try to take out as many predators as possible before trapping season ends. Too many animals that we know, love, and also kill are bringing up the rear on the food chain. So what does this mean? After getting special paperwork done and being contacted by a local biologist who asked for my help, I'm taking my trapping talents to the state of Kentucky. Essentially what I'm trying to say is we are trapping on public land. We're out here on public land. We're getting ready to set some traps. We got John the man out here with us. He's going to be helping us. We got a little bit of everything out here today. We have our foothold traps that we're not able to touch with bare hands. I gotta get some gloves on. And then in there, you can't really see it because John's got the door locked. We got some dog proofs. Well, of course, we got the uh, the peacemaker that, you know, we make peace with. We got our trapping bucket right over there. So as you can see right here, we are actually on this main road, trying to keep most of them within distance off of the road so you know people just random people coming up here ain't going to automatically see whatever's caught in my trap but i do want to put traps in a place where i can just row up here in the mornings check them and row up on out here if you know what i'm saying all right we come up to our first spot we have a trail right here behind john that we may show you here in a second but right here is what i'm thinking we have this log that runs right here tree right here i think that we're going to set the trap literally right here pretty much forcing whatever comes to check it out to come from this angle so this is going to sit like this. So it's pretty good. <laughs> That's a gnarly looking trap, isn't it? All right, let's go get a little dirt from somewhere else. This is not my favorite part of setting the trap. Here's a trap we got it all covered. Now we're gonna put our what our dirt hole probably about right here, John. Make them a good deep hole so they really have to dig to get to it. Let's give them a good honk here, there. Come back in the hole. Give them some kind of visual. You can kind of see that they're digging at something. We got some fox gland lure. Dab that right in there. So we got this one all set up, good to go. I'm going to disguise this bob this trap just a little more. Put some leaves around here. Right here is the set. Right there is where we want them to step. Right there is the dirt hole. I feel pretty good about this set. All right, we got that one all set. I feel good about that one. Next thing up is we're going to set a dog proof somewhat close to here where I can park the truck, see this one, and see the dog proof. And then we're probably going to mix it up a little bit. Is this a crime scene? I don't know. But there's a lot of trash up through here, so... It's kind of hard to tell. Literally, there could be somebody just over the hill and you wouldn't know. you think he's just close. We found kind of our second little spot that we're going to set some traps. To be honest with you, I'm, I'm kind of lazy. I'm thinking about the easiest way for me to possibly check all my traps, stay legal, you know, so we don't go to prison, while also making sure we have a good range of traps so we have a better chance of catching stuff. We're going to put this loop right through here. Run this through the swivel. Put it over the dog proof. And boom, you got it. These dog proofs are really new, so it's kind of hard to, hard to set. All right, we're just going to stick it in the ground just like that. We got some dog food here. This is like salmon flavored dog food, which I think should be even better than regular dog food. Top it off with some honey. Get it on the outside of the trap. Get a lot of comments asking how dog proofs work, so this video is for you. Oh, look, it's a unicorn coming through the forest. What is that? Oh, it's dog food and honey. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Huh. What in the world? Can't get it. Taking a second. Ah! Okay. Ow, that hurt. Oh no, my arm is stuck. My arm is stuck. I can't get it out. Oh no. All right, it's time to check the traps. What do we got? We go on to set 11 different traps, three dog proofs and eight foot holds in a bunch of different areas. And it's the same process each and every time. Somewhere in the middle of setting traps and looking for trails, we come up on this small cave looking thing. Kind of looks like something out of Lion King where the hyenas stay or, you know, the real dark shady place. So, of course, we got to go check it out. Like there's some deer traps back in here. It's pretty cool. It's like I'm caving or something. I wonder if there's caves back in here. This is public land and we don't, we've never been here before. Check this out. There's definitely something back here. Looks like really hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. If you don't mind, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a video. All right, anyway, that's enough explored. We got four more traps to set and we're losing some daylight. Check that one out. That's another one. I really like how that one's set. This is a workout. Oh, 
That scared me to death. John just pointed this out. Right here we have a trail. This is the trail that we set our trap to adjacent right over there. And right here would be a perfect place to set a snare. It's like a big jumble of like uh, of trees and limbs and all that stuff right there. We'll have to do that probably a different day. I didn't bring you snares today. At this point, you may be wondering, why does the title say something about catching a fox in a snare, blah, blah, blah? Well, in order for that to make sense, we're going to have to rewind at least a couple weeks ago. We set out some snares on very obvious trails immediately after seeing a bobcat on trail camera. Oh, and apparently they're called cable restraints. Yes, snares, cable restraints, they're different things, tomato, tomato, whatever. Basically, cable restraints have stops, snares do not. What we caught the skunk in a few weeks ago was a snare. That's why the skunk was dead when we found it. Technically, what we catch today is caught on a cable restraint, but Cabela's put snare on the packaging, so I don't know what you want me to say. This is a few days later, and we have something in the traps. Check that out right there, boys. And check that out. Another pile of feathers. Something is going to town back here. We may have caught this guy right after a crime. There he is, guys. He's not going nowhere. Check him out. He is not happy about it. You been trying to eat my chickens, buddy, or what? That is my first time ever seeing a fox up close. I, I've seen them alive before, but I've never seen one this close and definitely the first time I've ever trapped one. I'm really curious as to how this would taste. I know people eat fox and I would definitely eat fox, but I'm thinking about mounting this guy. How long has he been here? It, it's, it, it's been under 24 hours. We check these traps every day. Here's the big dirt circle and that's actually gonna be very good for us catching more predators. He's checked out. We didn't set this snare in this video, but we set it a while back, actually, a pretty good ways back. Uh, we got another one set right over there. I was actually gonna make a short video today of pulling the snares. Thank God I didn't. Be honest with you, I don't know if I should reset the snare here or should I do like a foothold here because it's got his scent everywhere now. I don't even know. This is my first ever catch with a snare. Basically just a small, kind of like a mixture between a weasel and a dog, I would say almost. There he is, beautiful fox, beautiful fox. Check him out. So guys, this is why we're putting in all this effort. This is it, all right? This guy would have made a meal out of you. I don't think I'm getting the credit I deserve from these guys. Well, folks, we got the fox in the freezer, not parts of the fox. Actually, the entire fox is in there. We are actually going to be mounting that guy. Now, I would be doing a catch and cook with him, but this is literally the first animal, besides the skunk, that I have ever trapped in a snare, and it is my first fox. And fun fact, I don't have anything mounted at all, so it's going to be my first thing I've ever had mounted, and I got to be honest with you, I am really excited about it. I was screaming like a little schoolgirl when I was off camera. Waiting to take him to a taxidermist, and they actually said it would be April before they can even take him. So it might be a good thing we didn't get a deer this year, because I probably wouldn't have room in the freezer. There's a whole lot of trapping left to be done, and we have a ton of traps still out there on public land as well as back here behind the house so make sure to stay tuned for those videos but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to like subscribe turn on bell notifications we will catch you guys on the next one